that have led us in worship, in prayers. And we thank God for the word that God has given to our mommy to share with us. I believe that no matter the siege, no matter the oppression, we are coming out today in the name of Jesus. Today I want us to examine our life, everyone. And I want you to identify those things that the enemy has stolen from you. See, when our sister was leading us, I just, God just spoke to my heart that there are people coming to church, but the enemy has maybe successfully stolen from them, and they never knew, and they are living like that because they were not vigilant enough. told you this this session is not for any exaltation it is for our prayers and for blessings from God but before we go into that I just want you to examine your life look at your life all your adult life look at it and I want you to examine it very well and then identify Identify those things that the enemy has stolen from you. And as you have identified them, I want you to make up your mind. I want you to be determined that tonight you launch them back and you will get them. I say that because I believe the word of God. You will get them. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and in verse 7, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and in verse 7, the Bible says, Where the word of the king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, What do I do? No one. No one. So tonight, as you have identified the area, the things that have been stolen, whether it's in your health, in your marriage, in your business, in your finances, in any area that the enemy has stolen something from you, tonight, just be determined that you are getting them. You have kept it for too long. You want it back. They are your own. They belong to you. So you want them back. Don't forget, we are the word of the king is. There is power. And who may say unto him, What do we do? And now, with that strong faith in your mind, and with the word of God that you have read, tonight you will be empowered. You will be empowered to succeed. You will be empowered to break through. You will be empowered to overcome. To overtake your enemy and possess everything they have stolen from you. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 9. The word of God says, Associate yourself, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Tonight, all those that associated themselves against you, against your children, against your moving forward, against your breakthrough, by the reason of that word of God, they will be broken to pieces. He says, Give ear, all ye of far countries, whoever they are, they have got this type of ear that they are, they are hearing everything about you. And they are waiting. Whenever you are almost there, they pull it back again. They pull it back again. By the reason of this word of God, they will be broken to pieces in Jesus' name. 
He says, all ye of far country, that means wherever they are in this whole wide world, today according to that scripture, you are overcoming them. You are overpowering them. You are defeating them. They are releasing to you whatever they have taken from you. Whatever they have stolen from you, from your children, from your family, you are getting them back. You are getting them back. He says, guard yourselves. Guard yourself. It doesn't matter the, the, the Balaam that is praying that you have gone to employ. It doesn't matter the type of prophet, the type of anything, priest, that you have gone to employ. As long as they are working against you, as long as they are working against your children, as long as they are working against your progress in life, tonight, they will be scattered. They will be broken to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be broken to pieces. Take counsel together. Take counsel. Let them take counsel together. Let them take counsel together. The word of God says, and it shall come to naught. You know, those people, they took counsel together to fast because of Saul of Tarsus, because of Paul. They said they will fast. So that they can attack him. No matter what counsel they are taking together against you, tonight they are going to be disgraced. They will be disappointed. All their counsel will come to nothing. He says, speak to the, speak the word and it shall not stand. No matter the causes, whatever they have spoken against you, it shall not stand. It shall not stand. And what is the reason? Because God is with you. God is with us. By the reason of those scriptures, I want you now to receive from the Lord. Rather through your word tonight. Any power that is coming together, ganging up together because of this, your children, no Lord. I declare today. If they are coming together, they are ganging up together, is to expand the problems of these your children. Father, today, let all of them be disabled. Let them be disabled. Let them be destroyed wherever they are. Wherever they are. In this world, whether they are far or, or near, let them be completely disabled. Oh Lord, let authority be taken away from the enemy of all these your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, every yoke of Satan that is placed on your way by the reason of this word of God, that yoke is broken today in the name of Jesus. Every evil pronouncement of the wicked people against you, against your children, Around you, every evil pronouncement tonight is completely destroyed. It's broken. It's broken. It will not have any effect over you. According to that scripture that we read, it will not have effect over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every ungodly covenant that people have taken because of you, because of your children, today they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. And every ungodly covenant that you have entered into, knowingly or unknowingly, today, as you are looking to possess everything that has been stolen from you, that covenant is broken today in the name of Jesus. Every cause or causes of any bailer that have been pronounced against you, against your children, your grandchildren, your loved ones, today, by the reason of the scripture that I've read, those causes are destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Any power that have gone to employ that bailer 
to be causing you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we return those causes back to them. We return those causes back to them. The, those causes will not have any effect over your life again. They will not have effect over the life of your children again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any agent of the enemy that is bringing lack of achievement into your life. You are working, you can't even have any saving. You are doing everything that you could do but nothing to show for it. Any power, any agent of the enemy that is making that to happen to you, that you are working with the right hand and the left hand is taking it away, today, those agents are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Those powers are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is bringing any financial failure into your life, that is anyone that is working day and night, turning your financial situation into rags today by the reason of this word of God, those people are destroyed completely in the name of Jesus. And even if it is your spiritual life that you are having difficulties with, every time you just you want one step forward, two steps backward. Today, whatever power is working against you, they are destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Whatever lie of the enemy that are saying you cannot make it in life. I say whatever pronouncement, that lie of the enemy that is saying that you cannot make it in life. And you are already thinking you cannot make it today by the reason of the word of God, by the reason of the anointing of God. That lie of the enemy is destroyed completely from your life, is broken completely from your life in the mighty name of Jesus from today. They will not have any effect over your life anymore. Every trait, any little trait of financial and spiritual backwardness that is in your life today by the blood of Jesus, they are washed away. They are washed away in the name of Jesus. They are washed away by the power in the name of Jesus. Today, the word of God has released his power into your life. Power for spiritual growth, for financial growth, physical health, good health, emotional balance. We are able. You are touched in any of these areas today. The word of God says He will supply all your needs. If any of those things I mentioned are needs in your life financial, spiritual, emotional, physical need that you have today, God will supply those needs. Your God will supply those needs in the mighty name of Jesus every part of your life where there have been a famine, where there have been a lack of others, today, I decree now that they will be yielding abundant food for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, there is somebody here. The problem you are going through is household. Is household. You remember Cain. Cain envied his brother. He envied his brother so much that he killed him. Anyone in your family that is having that spirit of Cain in them, that household wickedness, that envious spirit, that is bent on destroying you or on killing your destiny today by the reason of this revelation if you are that person receive your victory over them now receive your victory over them now receive your victory over them now wherever they are hiding and they are coming out to you as a friend as if they love you 
but they are Cain. They have the spirit of Cain in them. Spirit of jealousy. Spirit of jealousy. Spirit of hatred. And they are planning to destroy your life. They have been working on it for some time now. Today, receive your victory over them now. Receive your victory. That time has come for somebody here. From today, from today, you will not weep over that problem anymore. If you are going to weep, it will be a weep, weeping of joy. It will be a weeping of joy. A weeping of joy that you have overcome. That you have overcome. And you, God said that I should tell you that the reason you are still alive today is because God has a purpose for your life. The reason you are still alive today is because God has a purpose for your life. And today that purpose is going to be fulfilled in the mighty, in name, the of mighty Jesus. name of Jesus. From today that purpose will be fulfilled in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody you are here, you are taking some wrong roads. God said I should tell you that whatever, whatever may have been the wrong roads that you are taking or that you are already planning, that, that you, are, you have taken in your life, that is affecting your destiny. God said today, your destiny shall be restored and they shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. I am praying for somebody. If you are that person, you must let your amen sound loud now. Let it be louder so that people will know. Even those that are in your in the bathroom, those that are in the bedroom, in your house, let them hear that amen. Let them know that today is your day of victory. Today is your day of victory. Right now, God said I should tell somebody that there is an action you are planning to take. And that action, God said I should pray for you that that action will not destroy his plan for your life. God has a plan for your life for you, you want to take another action. An action of your own. God said I should tell you that you must be here so that that action you want to take will not destroy your life. And in the name of Jesus, today, your destiny, your destiny will not be reversed for evil. In the name of Jesus, your destiny will not be reversed for evil. The destiny of your children, your grandchildren, will not be reversed for evil. God said there is somebody here, there is, there is something like a mountain that is confronting you. You know it. You know what looks like a mountain in, in front of you that you have been trying to assail, you have been trying to cross. Today God said I should tell you that that mountain that is confronting you is already crumbling. It's already crumbling. By the Spirit of God that has revealed it. I said that mountain that is confronting you, God said they are already crumbling now in the mighty name of Jesus. There is another person amongst you that are listening to me right now. God said I should tell that person that that situation in your life, that situation that you are presently going through, God said I should tell you that because you are praying to now, because you have faith and you have received all what have been Reveal to you tonight that you are going to have dominion over that situation. You will have dominion over that situation. If you are that person, if you are that person, if you are that person, you are going to give the testimony very soon. Because God said that situation, that every time looks like the situation is overcoming you, you are going to overcome that situation. And there's another person, God said that your destiny has been caused by household wickedness. Right from where you are young, your destiny. And that is why you are, you are having difficulties about moving forward 
about making progress in life. But God said, I should tell you that right now, that cause has just been broken now. It has just been broken now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not have difficulty anymore over your destiny, over your progress, over your promotion, over your work, over your career. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because that cause is broken. It is broken and it is broken forever. That's what the Lord said I should tell you today. And if you are that person, I want you to just be thanking God. Because whatever is the result of that cause in your life, whatever is the effect of that cause in your life, is already taken away now. Is taken away now. From now on, what has been difficult will become easy for you. What you have been struggling to achieve, to get, and it looks like you can never get it, you are getting it now. From today, watch out. God has already said it. And so, it is established in your life. Once again, remember Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and in verse 7. Where the word of the king is, there is power. And who is that person that may say unto him, What do you have done? From now on, nobody can stop you again. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can challenge you. God has challenged all your challenges. This month, surprises, glorious surprises, beautiful, wonderful surprises are coming to somebody's way. Somebody is going to receive them. If you are that person, then you better let your inner sound love be over you. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And let everyone say, Amen. Amen.